it is estimated that the Green Revolution saved the lives of about 1 billion people. Its inspirer, Norman Burlock, Nobel Peace Prize laureate, gave shape to technified agriculture in the 1950s, multiplying several times the yield of wheat and corn. For Burlock, technology was the turning point of the demographic challenge. The population grew geometrically, but global supply basically came from the lands located in temperate climate. In the mid-70s, during a visit to Brazil, the scientist was categorical. We have been exploring rich soils for 4,000 years, and you have now managed to make a second revolution by creating sustainable tropical agriculture using one of the most degraded biomes on the planet, the Cerrado. The truth is that in 1974, Brazil imported 30% of the food it needed, and 40 years after developing a science, technology, and innovation platform for tropical biomes, the country managed to reduce prices, democratize supplies, and became a leader in the global food supply. With undeniable social impact, in five decades, it expanded the health and longevity of its population, which jumped from 50 to 75 years. And tropical agriculture is now moving to produce the third annual crop. Unlike the other biomes in the world, they are exhausted. For having led the development of a platform of science, technology, and innovation that included tropical biomes in the global food supply, Besides having implemented Embrapa, Alison Paulinelli was nominated the World Food Prize by nomination of Norman Borlaug himself. Now, the most challenging prospect of human food security begins to be clear on the horizon. The demographic clock has not stopped working. The population will rise from 7 to 9.7 billion by 2050. Income is growing precisely in the most populous regions of the globe and longevity has become the third major vector of pressure on food demand. Some economists already anticipate a supply crisis by 2030 in a world where today more than 800 million people still face the specter of hunger. Now begins the ultimate challenge. How to intensify food production and at the same time use finite resources of the planet in a more sustainable way how to deliver more animal protein without putting pressure on climate change. Brazilian science wants to share this task with scientists from all over the world to anticipate future scenarios, prospect trends, present solutions that are truly sustainable and socially inclusive. The Forum of the Future proposes to anticipate future scenarios, prospect trends. Will today's food have more or less space in tomorrow's food consumption? What is the impact of new technologies on food consumption? The new tropical agriculture integrates science, nature, and social inclusion as a central link of the human concept of development. The Tropical Biomes and Agriculture Project, which deepens the scientific knowledge of these areas and to understand its limits and potentialities. The Strategic Research Network for Sustainability at this new frontier, Globoplat. Researchers from all over the world will work collaboratively. And the knowledge platform, Agriculture and Food, will be a space of reference, curation and decoding of the scientific information of the sector. The production systems of integrated agriculture now allow us to double food production in the tropics without further deforestation, an effective way to preserve tropical biomes. Through the world of Globoplat, we can advance much more, produce a healthier, more sustainable food in a more resilient, productive process, expanding social inclusion and increasing income for poor populations in Asia, Africa and Latin America, contributing to the reduction of migratory movements. Together, with more science and innovation, we can make a better world.